Hello everybody, my name is Circadia. I am currently sitting here with Gen G in the Mavericks Gaming Studio, checking out Eternal Return's newest game mode, Cobalt Protocol. It has been a long time coming now, but guys, it is finally here, releasing. I could not be more happy. We have two teams facing off today in some heated action here, and I hope you all are ready to watch the North American Cobalt Protocol Showcase. on Team Boar. We do have myself, Noxian, Val Hallandays, and of course, Poe Belter. And then on Team Chicken, we do have Aqua Phoenix, Chaos Lizard, Bliss Kai, Sheepy, and of course, Ghost Electricity. Hey guys, Circadia here to give you some more info on Cobalt Protocol. Cobalt Protocol is the new 4v4 game mode in Eternal Return that will serve as a fun way for new players to get to know the characters of Lumia Island while also allowing veterans of Eternal Return to perfect their fighting skills. The goal of Cobalt Protocol is to deduct points from the enemy team's life score by killing enemies, including Omega and Gamma, and capturing the power beacons located along the map. During Phase 1 of the game, players will be separated into two 2v2 groups in restricted areas on both the left and right ends of the map. As soon as Phase 2 starts, sector roadblocks are removed, enabling everyone to traverse the map freely. Players will continuously respawn until one team's life score reaches zero. And now guys, let's get straight into the action. We go in. The battlefield is now open. I mean, this might teleport? be the highest- Oh, okay. So we get uh, can we get we teleport? Yeah. The whole island. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Teleporting? You want to teleport, Chaos? I want to take a shield first. Oh. It's good drones, good drones. I'm farming right now. I'm farming right now. I need help. I'm far. I gotta kill this bear, man. Can we get the bear? <laughs> oh, let's go. We're lit. We're lit. We just we capped this for 40 now. And we're up like God, right? Hey, they're on the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm on the deck. Go, 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 go. I'd press B to use all your things. Your credits. Whoa! Whoa, that like one shot. Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! I feel like any sort of AoE is gonna be like the way to go. Oh, but Nikki's up. Oh. Do you want Nikki? I can do. I can do. I can do Nadine. No, I'll do Nadine. I'll do Nadine. Alright, this is a dub. This is what they call the massive dub. Coming down. He's 1 HP. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right here, Anna. I'm bringing Arc. One. Oh, Steven could've come. Oh, huge GPS. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting no, it's not real. It's not real. They're so good. Nice, nice. We can start uh, forcing objectives. I have Laurel, I'm really good. Careful not to attack. Yeah, on top it doesn't matter, we just need to get there now. 
Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Alright, yeah, go, go, bro. I'll meet you there. You want to go? Oh, shit, they actually. I'm gonna try and snipe it. I'm gonna try and snipe it. Oh, I stole it! <laughs> go! 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 Yeah, I think it was pretty fun. I like being able to use the, um, the different augments to like buff myself in between rounds. I think that's a pretty cool mechanic. If you like team fights, this game mode is amazing. You just get to constantly fight. You have, get really large impacts in the fight as well. Really fast paced, really short game so you can play whatever you want. Yeah, I think this game mode has a lot of potential. I am looking really, really, really looking forward to it actually. I think the new game mode really brings a breath of fresh air more than anything. Um, definitely going into that experience, it is more different than anything I've ever done in Eternal Return over the last year and a half. I think Cobalt Protocol is perfect for new players, uh, especially because I think the hardest parts of the game and a lot of the parts of the game that overwhelm new players uh, are not present in Cobalt Protocol since you get the build right away. Uh, I think the new game mode uh, offers an opportunity to play with more than just three people, which can help you you know, bring your friends in on a game. Coming from a new player, it's kind of like hard to adapt with the uh, BR mode. And with this, it's kind of like you could play with a squad and have somebody guide you through. And it's a little fast pa faster paced, so you don't have to rely on building or any of that. Even just playing right now um, and getting to like see all the different items, they have different options like for builds and stuff. There's a lot of new ways to play. You get a lot of new effects, you get a lot of new items, which you might not normally build on characters. The items are introduced as either tank, uh, you know, attack range, heal reduction, so-and-so. It's going to be something that they're not going to feel so stressed out, so sluggish. And I think that honestly makes it a lot easier to learn the items. And if you want to end up going to play Battle Royale later, it'll help out a bunch because you're like, Crystal Tiara is a crit item. I know that from playing Cobalt Protocol. Maybe this is something that they start on and then start on maybe the BR because this can give you something to grow and you can figure out a character you want to play. I think being able to just get it into the game and get acclimated through Learn the characters and how they play in a fun format is the perfect way to get used to the game. All right, guys, that'll be it for us today. Thank you so much to Genji and Mavs Gaming for letting us be here today for the NA Cobalt Protocol Showcase. My name is Circadia, and I cannot wait to see you on Lumia's new Frontier Cobalt Protocol releasing on June 8th.